The Chaos Emeralds, one of the most important set of artifacts in the entire Sonic series. Since the very first entry, they've been used to aid and progress the stories that these games tell. They've been used to get characters out of very sticky situations. They've been the catalyst for many catastrophic events, and they've been sought out by all sorts of characters time and time again. Needless to say, these gems are very important to the series, and it only makes sense that their lore has remained consistent since day one. Right? Alright, what about their origin? We've only ever gotten one, so... Yeah, abilities? Sure, for the most part, they've always done the same few things throughout the games. Their number? Fuck. The general consensus nowadays says that there's a certain seven, hell, it's even in the title, the seven Chaos Emeralds, but that's just what the government wants you to think. Everyone, gather around and put on your tinfoil hats, because today, we're gonna dive deep into the top secret history of the many Chaos Emeralds that they don't want you to know about. Starting with where it all began, Sonic the Hedgehog 1. The premise of the original Sonic game is to stop Dr. Eggman, free your animal friend, and save South Island with the power of the six Chaos Emeralds. Six. Hmm, curious. Already starting off with a different number. Let's take a closer look at these emeralds. There appears to be a blue, green, yellow, red, white, and pink emerald. Keep that last one in mind going forward. This will be important. Seems fairly normal so far, right? We only seem to be missing one. And on that note, on to Sonic 2! With the release of Sonic 2 came the addition of a brand new Chaos Emerald. This emerald had a brand new color, purple. With the inclusion of the seventh emerald came a brand new ability. When Sonic collects all seven, he gains the ability to turn into Super Sonic. This power would stay as a constant ability for the entire rest of the series, and is probably the most well-known use of the seven Chaos Emeralds. Well, there we have it. The seven Chaos Emeralds. Blue, green, yellow, red, white, purple, and pink. But, hold on. Something seems off. It's as if one of these isn't supposed to be here. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 introduced a lot to the series. Fan favorite Knuckles the Echidna made his first ever appearance here. Storytelling through cutscenes became a lot more prominent. And most importantly, the most detrimental thing of all, a Chaos Emerald was replaced! Bum, bum, bum. Let's see which it was. Blue, good. Green, good. Yellow, red, white, purple, all good. Cyan. Who are you? What have you done with the pink emerald? So this is the status quo now. Instead of a pink emerald, there's a cyan one. This would stay pretty consistent for the rest of the series. So this is where the video ends, right? Oh, you sweet summer child. How ignorant you are. Everyone in the grandma knows that Sonic the Fighters features a grand total of eight chaos emeralds, one for each playable character. So they just brought back the pink emerald for this game, yeah? Well, I mean they did, but what if I told you they introduced, not one, but two brand new emeralds in this game? For each character the game has, an emerald of that character's color is awarded to the player, i.e. Sonic gets the blue emerald and Knuckles gets the red. Curiously enough, Espio gets a violet emerald, that's a new one, and Tails gets an orange emerald. I'm gonna mention this here so this video doesn't get super long, the orange emerald was actually pretty prominent in this time period. It appeared in games like Sonic Drift 2, Triple Trouble, which apparently also featured a light yellow emerald, whatever the fuck that means, Sonic 3D Blast, which also has a turquoise emerald, and Sonic R, which is the motherfucking vermilion emerald. What even is that? So that makes 13 in total. Alright, so that answers it. There's 13 Chaos Emeralds in canon. Oh, hi, Nokai. Ah! Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball, everyone named Nokia Phone's favorite game. This cute little thing features fuck-ass annoying pinball physics and a lovely ear-grating soundtrack. Oh, and might I add an additional, uh, let me count them up here. One, two, 16 Chaos Emeralds. And they're all colored blue. What the fuck? All right, Nokai, you've got some explaining to do. This one simple little game over doubled our Chaos Emerald count. What? Why am I getting so furious about rocks? Okay, okay, so now we've got 29 Canon Chaos Emeralds. Is Spinball Canon, you might be asking? Well, yeah, I don't know, let's just say it is. The next one might not count, but um, it functions pretty much the same, so... After the events of Sonic Adventure, Tails is awarded the Yellow Chaos Emerald for defeating Eggman and stopping the city from being destroyed. Don't worry though, the city still gets destroyed. He studies the Emerald and manages to develop a nearly identical copy with almost the same properties, although for whatever reason, he made it explode when used in machinery. 
In Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic attempts to use this Chaos Emerald to thwart Eggman's dastardly plan, and successfully uses Chaos Control to escape a near-death situation. Honestly, it's really fucking impressive that this 8-year-old Fox managed to create an almost perfect replica of literally one of the most powerful objects in the entire Sonic canon. Although, I don't know if this should count as an emerald since it technically isn't, so let's just say we've got 29.5 now. On to the final case of an abnormal emerald in the games. We have Sonic Jump. I didn't expect this one either. I haven't played this game and I don't think there's really a way to, so we're going to be trusting the good old wiki for this one. Apparently after collecting the first 6 Chaos Emeralds, red, green, blue, purple, yellow, and white, the player gains access to the bonus zone, where they have the opportunity to collect a black Chaos Emerald. Don't confuse this with the depowered emeralds in Adventure and Unleashed, this is straight up just a normal black Chaos Emerald. So that's all of them that I could find. 30.5 different Chaos Emeralds be found in the world of the games, assuming everything is canon of course. Well, that's a wrap, thank you all for listening to my conspiracy theories, and don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and watch more of my videos, is what I would say if we were done. Sonic is a multimedia franchise, we have so much more to cover. <laughs> the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog was a silly little show with its own silly little take on the Chaos Emeralds. There are four of them, all green and different shapes, scattered throughout time. Collecting all four allows their user to conquer the universe or something. There's also a fifth emerald called the Chaos Emerald Ring, which has the power to do a number of things, including sink entire countries. What in the world were the writers smoking and where can I get it? Speaking of drugs, what the fuck is Sonic Underground? You know, this show took a lot of liberties with Sonic. It got rid of almost every side character at the time, gave Sonic siblings and a mother, made him fucking royalty, and had him join a band. This show was truly ahead of its time. Oddly, one thing that the show did adapt was Knuckles, Angel Island, and a singular Chaos Emerald. This basically serves as the Master Emerald, but it shares the same name as the Chaos Emerald, so it counts. Okay, next. Sonic X actually stays somewhat accurate to the games. It includes all seven typically colored Chaos Emeralds, and even the fake Chaos Emerald in its own Sonic Adventure 2 adaptation. However, the show goes even further with that concept in the games. In Season 3, the Metarex, the big bad of the season, mass-produced a very large number of fake Chaos Emeralds. These emeralds had similar but slightly altered properties compared to the normal 7. Their most notable use was being able to induce a dark super transformation for Sonic. I honestly love this form. Kid me thought it was the coolest shit ever and adult me still thinks it's the coolest shit ever. Once again, these probably don't count as much as normal emeralds since they technically aren't the real things, but they're worth a mention at least. Okay, we're through with all the shows. Now I think we're done. Comics. Alright, speed round y'all. The Sonic Archie comics were fucking nuts and very inconsistent with what they wanted to be or do. And that goes for their Chaos Emeralds too. Early on, they were quite literally a fucking uncountable amount of Chaos Emeralds. But due to some weird ass events, every single one of them was sent to Mobius and merged into seven differently colored emeralds, much like the games. After the reboot, all this was retconned to match the game canon at the time, so actually none of that matters. Uh, IDW has some silly shenanigans too, which I didn't even know about till like maybe 10 minutes before writing this. Ha. Huh. In the Urban Warfare arc, it's revealed that Eggman has created five giant fake Chaos Emeralds in the colors green, red, blue, yellow, and cyan. Similar to other fake emeralds, they're similar in properties, but significantly less powerful and can much more easily be destroyed. They're also fake, so do they even count? Uh... And finally, last but not least, the Fang comic. The entire premise of this comic is Fang hears a rumor of an 8th Chaos Emerald that he wants. You know, despite just proving that 30.5 already exists in universe, but for his sake, there's 8. Hypothetically. Uh... And that's all the emeralds I could find. This was tough work. These secrets are heavily guarded, and the world government really doesn't want us to know about them. In total, there are at least 30.5 emeralds in game canon, plus those 5 giant fake ones in IDW, if that's game canon too. There's also 5 in the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, 1 in Underground, and 7 real emeralds in X, making 13 in the non-canon TV shows combined. Plus all those countless fake emeralds in X2, I suppose. And last, but definitely not least, the uncountable amount in Archie. Now, that's a lot of emeralds I bet you didn't know about. Don't go telling anyone I told you any of this. The FBI will kill me. But I trust you. I also trust you to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and watch more of my videos. Oh god, they're on to me. I gotta run! <laughs>